Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning Laravel 8 Framework Tutorial. This is our part 10. Inside this video session guys, we will discuss about creating layouts for few files. And also guys, if you are looking up the blog articles of CakePHP 4, CodeIgniter 4, MySQL, WordPress, Node.js, then you must visit this blogging website. Inside this website, we have different different articles with interesting topics. Now if I back to browser, this is our blogging website called onlinewebtutorblog.com and inside this you can find all we have latest blog post. These are recently posted. Now if you are wondering about the categories, go inside this category section. Here we have Codeigniter 4. WordPress, CakePHP4, MySQL and many more. Inside each category, we have different different blog articles with interesting content. Now back to the topic. So inside this video, we will discuss about how can we create layouts for few files. So first of all, we have a question. Question is that, what is a layout? why we need to create a layout so the, for the first question that is what is a layout layout simply means a parent layout or let's say a master layout we will create to implement inside each of the few file let's say we have a website inside a website we have the common areas like we have a header we have a footer we have some sidebars so we want to keep these static portions inside a single file rest all the things we will manage inside each of the individual file what i mean simply if i now open a new tab let's say that we have a master layout file inside this layout file we have the sections like we have a top header Next we have let's say navigation menus. Inside this we have body contents and this will be dynamic. It means for about us page we have a different body content. For contact us we have a different body content. So this should be dynamic. But rest of the things like top header, navigation menus, if we have sidebar then sidebar and footer these are the common areas actually inside each of the few file so to keep all the static parts or let's say non-changeable parts inside a single file that is called a layout simply we need to extend that layout or let's inherit and use the common areas into that few file the next question we have why we should need it let's say if we don't have any layout then each of these things like top header navigation menus footer we need to repeat all these codes inside each of the view file but we want to save time and as we know that we are using laravel 8 so we need to use the functionality means inbuilt functionality inside like what we have so that's why we need to make a master layout we need to extend each inside each of the view file and use its default behavior now next we will see that how can we create a very basic layout file so back to editor go inside this resources folder because layout is also a view file so go inside that views directory and let's say we are creating a folder with the name of let's say layouts inside this layouts simply let's say app.blade.php this is a layout let's say a master layout inside this layout first of all simply declare html element inside this we have a head tag inside this head tag we have a title tag so let's say welcome hyphen and here we need to pass our dynamic page name because in case of about us let's say welcome hyphen about us for our services page let's say welcome hyphen services page so how can we make a dynamic placeholder to accept dynamic values 
So for now, if I suppose write, let's say welcome, something as static title, inside after this head tag, let's say we have a body tag. And inside this body tag, let's say we have a div. Simply let's say class equal to container. And inside this div class container, for now we have a h1 element and let's say welcome to home page so right now this is a static page completely here we have we don't have actually any dynamic placeholder to replace with each of the few file content we will make the dynamic placeholder very soon so first of all we need to create a view file so here we have about.blade.php which we are calling via if we go inside this app sorry inside routes folder we have web.php and inside this let's say we have a route called about us and inside this simply we are calling about view file back here and if you go here and type about hyphen us and this is partials dot top header not found so what I will do simply get rid of that because right now we are not going to include any file and here is the content. So this is the content of about us page. Also we want to use this layout what we have inside this parent. So what I will do to use the parent layout we need to use to extend that layout. So to extend we have a extend directive to use at the red symbol here we have extend and inside this simply we need to pass our layout path so as we know that our app.blade.php which is a parent layout inside layouts folder so layouts dot app now if we save go and reload this page and here we have a syntax and i think that instead of extend we have something extends now if we save go here and as we can see that welcome to home page and this is the content of our app.blade.php so here we need to use extends directive inside this we have simply passed our like app.blade.php path and in the last video we had discussed that if we need to go inside any of the folder how can we use the syntax now this time right now we have only the static content so go and press ctrl u as we can see inside this source code this is the about us page content rest we are getting all the contents of app.play.php now in the next we need to make dynamic placeholder because if suppose we have two routes let's say that instead of products let's say instead of about us let's say we have products page and we have a file called products.blade.php inside this views folder so let's create that and in the same if i copy this extends go inside this now here this is all about the about us page if we open a duplicate tab and simply type products here we are getting our products page but when we press ctrl u the same code actually we are repeating here so we need to make dynamic title as well as the dynamic content back to editor go inside our parent layout first of all we need to make a dynamic placeholder to accept dynamic values so instead of home page static value we are going to use ailed directive Inside this ALT directive, we need to pass a name. This name either in single quotes or let's say inside double quotes. This is going to render our dynamic content here. So ALT, it's a directive to actually render our dynamic values. And also we want to render our dynamic values here. So what I will see. So here, again we are going to use ALT here. And inside this, let's say that content so simply we have used two ill directive actually to place our dynamic values go inside about.play.php 
simply we have used the extends means we are extending this layout now we need to actually put our dynamic values inside these values inside these places so copy this title so to put any dynamic values we have a section it's also a directive so let's say section here we have let's say a title and simply let's say end section as we know that we have two ild tag means two ild directive we have used like for the title and for the content so this is let's say for the content which contains a uh, like html elements inside this div class container we can render html contents but inside this title we can actually render only a specific value so we have two syntaxes to use our section directive if suppose we are entering html elements like here inside this container we can use such type of syntax and inside this we can write let's say with an h2 tag simply let's say this is dynamic content inside this content placeholder this is h2 element what we have used but for this title we are not going to render any html element instead we are going to render only a simple value so to render only a single value we are not going to use section like this because we have two syntaxes to use our section directive so for the value we are going to use the simplest syntax so here is the section name means this is our name what we have used here and inside this let's say that this is about a page save these changes again we are going to do the same thing for this products.blade.php because we are extending the layout and inside this let's say that we are using section directive inside this we have a title placeholder this is all about products page next we have another section this is for the content and as we know that inside this content area we can actually render all about the messages as well as the h1 like let's say html elements so for that we need to use the second method of yielding or adding content so this is section and section and inside this simply let's say for now welcome or let's say this is dynamic content for products page so if we save all these changes now we are ready with the about us page and the products page go and reload this about us page and as we can see first inside this title welcome about us page so dynamic value has been now taken off inside the alt place and inside the second content area we have the dynamic content now if you go inside this products page this is of the products page and also we are getting the dynamic content here so this is the use of a parent layout concept or creating layouts in laravel so the simple steps that if suppose we have a website inside that website we have an admin panel also we have a front end so simply we need to make a folder inside this views directory we need to make separate layouts for admin and front end so keep all the layouts inside layouts folder simply you can define all the html and inside that simply we need to make dynamic placeholder so right now we have created only two like for the title and for the content and inside each of the view file which is actually which are extending this layout inside each of the view file actually we have put the dynamic values like here we have used only two placeholder inside by using ld directive like title and the content and we are putting dynamic values by using this section directive so we have two options if we are entering all about the single scalar value we need to use this syntax otherwise 
if suppose we are entering more contents like any h1 elements or any of the html elements so in that case we need to use this second method so this is how, how guys actually we can operate with our layouts in laravel so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day